In this video, we are going to look at how to read the micrometer screw gauge using the question that came in an exam some few years ago. So the first question says, figure 1.1 shows part of a micrometer screw gauge, an instrument used to measure a physical quantity. So this is the micrometer screw gauge. So part A says, what is the reading shown on the micrometer? All right, so what you have to know is that uh, for you to read the micrometer, you are supposed to understand two scales. Okay, so a micrometer has two scales. This scale here is called the sleeve scale. Okay, so this is the sleeve scale and this is the thimble scale. So first of all, you need to take the measurements from the sleeve scale. Alright, so it is also important for you to note that this instrument has the least count of 0 0.01 millimeters. So meaning this is the smallest measurement that this instrument can take. The smallest. Alright, so this instrument is in millimeters. Okay, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 millimeters on the sleeve reading. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to take the measurements of the sleeve scale. So we have zero, then one. So this measurement that is down here, th this demarcation or graduation that is down here indicates the 0 0.5. So we have zero, one, point five, two, point five, three, point five, four, point five. So this is the last measurement before we go to the thimble reading or the thimble scale so what you are going to do all the time take this last measurement so this is 4.5 okay so this sleeve reading is 4.5 millimeters if this was the last reading it was here it we are going to get 4.0 okay but in this case we have this one as the last reading so 4.5 now, after you've collected the measurement on the sleeve, you now collect the measurements on the thimble, from the thimble. So from here, you have 25. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So meaning each graduation is worthy one millimeter. Now, how do you collect the measurements from the thimble? You look for where this the center line of the sleeve scale and that of the thimble scale where they are coinciding. Okay, this one is not coinciding with with this center line. This one not. This one no. This one no. This one no. But this one is coinciding with this. So we need to take this measurement here. So this is thirty then thirty one. So this is thirty one. So we are saying it's 31. So now this measurement that you've collected on the thimble, you need to multiply it by the least count, which is 0 0.01 millimeters. Okay? So when you do that, you're going to see that here you have 0 0.31 millimeters. All right, what is needed now is just for you to add the sleeve reading and the thimble reading. So we're going to add, so we have 4.5 millimeters plus 0 0.31 millimeters, which gives 4.81 millimeters. So the reading is 4.81 millimeters for this particular micrometer screw gauge. B. What physical quantity is measured by the instrument? So, the physical quantity measured by the micrometer screw gauge is the thickness of very tiny objects, such as the diameter of your hair. So, that's a physical quantity that is measured by this instrument. But you see, what is the function of the, of the ratchet? Okay? So, when you look at this instrument it has this 
okay this is the ratchet what's the function of this ratchet so the function of this ratchet is to maintain the measuring pressure is to maintain the measuring pressure so when you look at this instrument this instrument is very delicate is very fragile if you apply too much pressure when taking your measurement you may break the instrument you may damage the instrument so this ratchet is used to maintain the measuring pressure okay there's a certain sound uh, the instrument makes or the, there's a certain sound that the ratchet makes to say you are not supposed to go over this pressure that you are applying on the instrument so the ratchet is used to maintain the measuring pressure thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and share and thank you very much to our returning subscribers please uh, share the good news and if there is anyone whom you know that he's, he or she is writing mathematics and uh, physics uh, please direct them to this channel explain to them that there is a channel that is teaching mathematics and physics